it in the house and I say it now, is it too much to ask? My party does not have a majority in the Commons, Mr. Woodsworth, unless I have the support. Is it too much to ask that Canada take care of poor people, 70 years of age, who built this country? Well, you and Mr. Heaps are the Labour Party. You hold the balance of power. Perhaps in a coalition, I'm offering you a seat in Cabinet, Mr. Woodsworth. I'm on it, sir. But no. Uh, Mr. Heaps, be my Minister of Labour? Mr. King, I can't do that. But the Labour Party would support you on old age pensions. In that case, it's not too much to ask, Prime Minister. Some say Mackenzie King got exactly what he wanted when Canada's first old age pensions bill became law in March 1927. Democratic Party leader David Lewis and his caucus came up with what they called a COD policy, a shopping list of demands that Trudeau would have to satisfy if he was to retain power. Is he talking? Trudeau and another NDP leader, Ed Broadbent, both fondly remember the legislation of that minority parliament, which included increases in old age pensions and family allowances, a job creation plan, action to halt rising food prices and personal income tax cuts. And again, as unbiased as I'm not, I think if it hadn't been for the NDP's presence, of course, and, and the necessity of building, a, if you like, a, a center-left coalition as opposed to another one, they, they, well, these things wouldn't have happened. You have no argument for me. I, I was not unhappy that I was given uh, a reason, uh, a political reason, to do what very often my my ideology uh, wanted to do. I was uh, on the left of the Liberal Party and uh, now I had a good argument. Jeez, if we don't get the NDP with us, uh, we won't be the government anymore.